Whenever in life you have pursued anything as though that is the most important thing in life, you have always achieved it. No exception. How important is this business for you? How important is this business for you? On a scale of 1 to 10. See, if, there, if you were to list down the most, uh, the 10 most important things for you at your life right now, in your life, where would this business grade? 1 is the most important, 10 is the least important. So 1 to 10, where would this be? Many of you say 1. Some of you say 2. You know, once a, a very wise man said, the person that, the person whom we fool the most in our life is ourselves. So, when I ask you, where do you grade this business? You are saying one. Now, I'm not going to argue with you. But at the same time, a wise person has said, the person that whom we fool the most in our life is ourselves. You just proved it when you said one. See, let me not argue with you, but let me help you understand whether it is really one for you, all right? Now, let's go back to that example of you looking for a job, all right? At that time, you agree that at that point in time, getting a job was the most important thing for you. Now, what were you thinking of when you got up in the morning? How do I get a job? Where do I go? What do I do? You know, whom do I talk to? When you were talking to people, what were you talking about? Or oh, is there a vacancy in your company? Who is the HR manager? Where can I go? How can I do what? You were watching blockbuster movies, but you were not really focusing on it because your mind is wondering about this, you know, how do I find a job? Till night. And at night, maybe you're not able to sleep also. Right? Now, you're doing this business. And you say this is number one for you, all right? When you wake up in the morning, what are you thinking about? What do I eat today? What do I wear? You look at your phone, if there is no missed call from your upline, you're happy. <laughs> and then you go to work. And then maybe in between you make a few phone calls. You come back. And then you say, okay, you know, I have to spend some time on the business. You schedule some follow through or follow up appointments. Or you have some presentation appointments. And then you call the prospect. Three times, four times, the prospect did not pick up the phone. Then you keep the phone and say, oh, the prospect is busy. And then, soon it's evening, time to go to bed. Does that happen or no? And then you say, this is the most important thing, right? Now, my job here is not to tell you that you have to make this the most important thing. That's not my job. That's for you to decide. But, I'm going to tell you that every time in your life, whenever you pursued something as though that was the most important thing, you have always achieved it. Whenever in life you have pursued anything as though that is the most important thing in life, you have always achieved it, no exception. But when you have pursued something as though it is an option, an extra thing, on a scale of one to 10, it's somewhere the four or five, 99% of the time you have not achieved it. Want me to take some examples? You know the date 
when most people around the world take decisions. What is the date? Ah, the 1st of January. There's a disease called as New Year Resolution. It's actually a disease. Because I just cannot comprehend this idea that somebody actually has to wait for a particular date for them to take a decision on doing something. If you are hungry, when do you eat? When you're hungry, right? Do you actually wait to, oh, you know, it's not January 1st yet. You do, if something is important, you do when you think about it and you do it. You don't wait till January 1st. So, it's a disease, but nevertheless, everybody sitting here have contracted the disease at some point in time. What is the most common New Year resolution? Ah, weight loss. Weight loss. Weight loss, quit smoking, quit drinking. So, January 2nd, you go to any health club around the world, packed with people. It's packed with people. People working out, running around. You know, some people doing workout as though they are feeling guilty that they did not start earlier and they are trying to pack two years of workout into one day. And then, January 3rd, body pain, back pain, leg pain, muscle pain. But then they say, you know, sometimes they still go to the gym and do a little bit of workout. And then by the next day, even more painful. So then what do they do? You know, today it's too, too painful, I cannot go, so let me take a rest. So they take rest, one day, two days, three days. Now body pain is okay, but fourth day they think maybe there is still some body pain left, so let me not go again. So after one week, suddenly they realize, oh, I have not been to the gym for a long time. So they go. And now they go walk around, wipe the machine a little bit, touch the machines and see everything is okay, do a little bit, and then come back. And then forget about it until January 1st next year. Now that was also a decision, you know. The decision that you took after you graduated to find a job was also a decision. The decision you took on the 1st of January to lose weight or quit smoking or quit drinking, whatever it was, that was also a decision. And both those decisions were taken by you. Secret of success is trying till you get it, which you already know. But why did you not implement that in the other cases? Why? It's not that you forgot. Because you did not learn it, you have it already in you. So there's no question of forgetting it. The only difference is in the level of importance. That's it. Is there anything different there? There's absolutely nothing different. When something becomes so important for you, you will keep going at it. You will keep trying till you get it. But when something is not that important, you do it when you feel like doing it. Your life has lots of examples of these two decisions. These two kinds of decisions that you've made. Unfortunately for most people, the examples of decisions where you have tried till you achieved it are not many. There are three or four like finding a job, finding your spouse, children, maybe your first house. That's about it, unfortunately. So, 
You have in your life both these formulas. Formula number one, aim for something, which is the most important thing for me. And you will automatically keep trying till you achieve it. Or the other formula is, try for something, let's have some goals, some dreams. Some people say that I have to do it. Aiming for something which is not that important. And then trying to achieve it. Which one has worked out for you? Formula one or formula two? The first formula. So is it not utter stupidity trying to follow the second formula for your success in this business? Is it not moronic? Is it moronic or no? But all of us are doing it. In our lives, this, at this point in time, this is not the most important thing for most people sitting here. And you still want to try and do this business by keeping it the same way. That is stupidity. I am not saying you have to make this the most important thing. I am not saying that. That's up to you. But then trying to do this as though this is an option and expecting success. That is moronic. Do you understand what I'm saying? Trying to do this business as though this is an option for you. This is not number one thing. See, number one thing is not an option. Do you realize that? When something is the most important thing for you, that is not an option. You have to have it. There's no other option. When you are looking for a job, if somebody would say, what if you could not find a job? I mean, it, it just wouldn't make sense to you. What do you mean not, if I don't? I will. It just wouldn't make sense to you. Because in your mind, there's no other option. This is it. I have to achieve this. But then when you try and do this business as though you got plenty of options, now that's your choice, but then don't expect success. You do it, no problem. Maybe you're feeling lonely at home, nothing to do, nobody to talk to, you wanted to meet some great motivating people, talk up on stage because your life was pathetic. That's nice, no problem. Don't expect success. Don't expect? success if you are doing this as an option so is this really an option for you uh -uh. not really convinced you know no, don't, don't worry don't worry you're not trying to convince me don't worry you don't have to convince me whom do you have to really convince who is the person that you make the most fool of every day? Ah, so that is the person you got to convince, not me. You got to convince that person, you got to convince yourself that you don't have another option. In fact, you really don't have. If you had another option, believe me, you would have achieved long time ago. The reason you have not achieved your dream yet is because you don't have an option. Now. This is the, this is what? The only option. Can you say that this is the only option? All right. It is a good start. You know, it's a good start to say it verbally. Because so far you are really trying to fight with it. You are trying to do this business as though I am already okay. I am not poor. I am not broke. I already have a car, a house, pension fund. My family will be taken care of. I am okay. So this was like, okay, if I have something on the side extra coming in, not bad. Why not? Wake, Wake up. up.